Okay, now I'll straighten it out. Yeah, keep it straightening it like that. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing fine. Just keep doing that. And go back five, six more feet. There you go, straight back. Straighten out your front wheels. Yep. Turn them the other way. To the left, turn them to the left. Okay, and keep coming. Yep, keep them hard. Keep coming, you got five more feet. Uh, two feet. Straight back. Little more. Little more. Whoa. That's good. That's great. Uh, I mean, let it roll forward if it will. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so the piggies are going out into the, uh, I don't know, former garden area where there's tons of old rotten squash. And a little hole over here, we can deal with that. They're not going to go underneath. So, ready for the fun part of opening. Oh, Lord Brad has that. That'll get in their way. Hi, piggies. You ready for fun? Look how big they are. And they're so red. Yeah, one of them got loose. Actually, all got loose last week. And they were doing their grunting and snorting, got up by the house. I thought it was some kid's dirt bike. Okay, go, if you're ready. They're all waiting. All right, I'll pick that up. Oh, you did. Yep, slide it over, let them out. There they go. Off to see the wizard. That's not going to happen quite yet. Big square area. Look at that. Find a squash. Mmm, squash, 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 squash. You going to eat it? Well, you saw all the pigs are in. Uh, wish this area had a little little more for them to offer them. But it's not horrible, I guess. The old cockle burr right here. But then a bunch of foxtail and some other weeds over there. Um, they'll probably eat the foxtail. And they're fine and stuff. It's always the first day. It's always the first day that they're happy. And the boys don't. The boys don't like me still. That's all right. Um, yeah, my biggest he, right here. I haven't. I haven't gotten the tape out in a while, but I'd say he's good. 200, 220 would be my best guess. He's a big boy. Um, yeah, they've, they've all four now gotten out twice um, over the course of a month. So that was that was real fun. Second time wasn't as bad, but because we knew we could get them back and crown them back. But it was more the distance they had traveled. So the uh, I called ahead for slaughter date. Uh, the place that, that does the slaughter and for the pigs uh, they don't do processing for individuals in November and December because of the, the holidays 
So I called in September and uh, the soonest date I could get was January 9th. So that's that's the date. Um, they will be pl plenty big by then. So right now I think they're let's see March. They'll be seven months and about a week and a half. It'll be about seven months. Um, so they'll be getting up there. I'm expecting close to 300 plus. So there'll be a lot of meat. So since, I, since I'm waiting that long in the process, I was gonna keep two, but I might just go ahead and just keep one if I'm gonna have that much meat. They're going going at underneath that cockleberry there. So it was nice and loose because we tilled it so <laughs> for the garden. And they're getting covered. They'll wash it off. This is my girl. She's the only one really lets me pet her. And they were not sleeping in the shelter for a little bit there, for a good good month or two. They weren't sleeping in the shelter at all. I don't know why. I thought I we thought it was because they didn't fit in there anymore. But then this past week, it's been real. It's been pretty very rainy out here, around here, so they've been sleeping it. They all fit, no problems. Maybe it was the heat. It's finally starting to cool down a little bit. They were a lot less moody too when I when I put them in the trailer. Since I had to move them from out back to up front here, um, they require a lot of moving. So I tried to hurry, get a bunch of this done. Um, I had problems with the. Um, I don't think they, they got there was a two, there was two other ways they got out, but one way that they're being real hard on it, where my long 16 foot panels. I didn't have a stake in the center of them, so I went ahead and did that. Um, they were, they use them so heavily as scratch posts and are just rough on them so much that they were actually able to take the panels with, without the stake in the middle, the long ones, and actually take the stake and push it up behind the post on both sides. So the only thing that was supporting the panels was these metal wire t metal ties. So that was uh, interesting, and and I also noticed when I when I when I moved them today that that same panel that got moved behind the post, the bottom the bottom one was broke, but somehow they didn't get out. So thank God for that. That would have been the third time they've gotten out, collectively gotten out. Um, yeah, making some good craters already. I'm gonna stock up their, fill up their water all the way. I've never done that before. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And then I'm gonna feed the rest of the grain I have for them. And I'm hoping that last, last bit of grain I have lasts two more weeks. And I'm hoping for just one more grinding after that. I'm only doing a quarter grinder load on our New Holland 352 grinder mixer. So 1,200 pounds of, of Feed when I when I grind. I've only and I've only ground twice, so I'd say that's pretty pretty good for four pigs. Yeah. Uh, usually I just move the I move this by move this feeder by by hand, but since I had to come all the way down there, I got the front load to hydro out. And uh, moved it that way, which was a lot less work, so that was nice.
So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check, come back, check back for more cool farming videos and updates on the animals. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.